He's feeling so much better already. Oh. He doesn't even mind the cone, that's a good thing. But um, when I take it off, he immediately goes for his stitches. So I'm like, ugh, I gotta leave the cone on. Hmm? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Gatsby running around with this cone is so funny. Look at that. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> the ball got stuck to your. Where's the ball, Gatsby? Where's the ball? <laughs> You're not supposed to be playing right now, anyway. <laughs> I just got back from doing a trade on Craigslist. Check it out. <gasps> the two rare ones. How did I get it? These are so rare. <laughs> so what I did was I went on Craigslist and um, someone was like, oh, I'll trade it for old Nintendo 64 games. And I was like, what? Okay, sure, because I don't touch my Nintendo 64 games at all. Unfortunately, I don't have very many that I brought with me here. They're mostly all in Hawaii. Anyway, he's like, I don't want money. I only want to just trade for games because I just want to help people out. I feel a little bit bad that I'm going to be opening them because <laughs> they're so rare. Especially Little Mac is like really, really, really hard to find. And there we go, I open them. Little Mac over here, pretty awesome. Striations here in his muscles. Pit over here, who has like the most detail of like any figure. There we go. I'm with Sean over here. We're at, we're at Best Buy looking at the Amiibos again. They have a Samus that's discontinued. But they still have a bunch of Bowser's. Yeah, Bowser's not that rare. There's all these games that you get like stuff. I was saying, look, Squinkies too. I would be so lost because I didn't play the first Squinkies. I need to get an amiibo carrying case. $30. <laughs> oh, this only holds nine. I need to bring this to my game nights. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve amiibos. That's more than I have. So we just asked about Meta Knight, whatever, and apparently they're getting four to five per store. And that's it. This amiibo hunting is getting insane. My friend Sean, he um, told me about this guy P2 Vision on um, YouTube. He's the known as the amiibo hunter. His videos are so hilarious. He runs around trying to get amiibos. I just was able to order Ike. Ike, the amiibo, yes, that one is also incredibly rare. The thing is that Target posts the amiibos online. They post it online until it sells out, and it sells out in about two minutes, and that's it, and they're never gonna get any more, so it's like so crazy. Hey. I haven't actually been feeling too well today, so I decided to make some kale here. I gave Gatsby some, he loves kale. The good thing is that the timing is pretty good because while I'm sick, at least I don't have to take the dog out to like run around and play because he needs to be recouping too. Today is like amiibo day, I think just got Fox in. It seems like I bought a lot of amiibos, but really like out of the ones that I have currently, I only bought two of them. Wow, they pack it so much. Just for one, I think because people like to save the boxes. Someone was selling the empty villager box for 30 bucks. That's crazy. Here it is. Ooh, box! Check it out. He's so cool. There we go. So I'm getting so many amiibos. It's so ridiculous. I think I need to stop. Remember when I was going crazy with, with the coral? I feel like I start like... Once I start collecting things, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to collect them all. I have that Pokemon mentality. I gotta catch them all. <laughs> it's ruining my life. Since he was neutered, this picture is so funny. Hey guys, I thought I would do an Oscar special because guess what? I saw all eight movies nominated for the Academy Awards this year. So I thought that I would do my predictions and review them super, super fast. I saw all eight films this year. This is the first time I think ever that I've actually seen all of them before Oscar night. So I think that I can make a really, really good prediction on which ones are gonna win. Here it is, here is my ranking of the eight pictures for best picture from most favorite to least favorite. So starting off the list, 
Boyhood. And then Whiplash. Next one would be Grand Budapest Hotel. Birdman. The Imitation Game. Selma. American Sniper. And finally, The Theory of Everything. So I thought now I would go over what my predictions are, what my pick would be, and what movies I thought were snub for each picture. So let's get started from the top. What do I think will win Best Picture? It's pretty much going to be Boyhood that will win Best Picture. It's just an incredible achievement in filmmaking. The Academy tends to like to reward that. Birdman does not have the message or the, the emotional impact that Boyhood has. Next category is Best Director. Nominees were for Foxcatcher, Birdman, Boyhood, The Imitation Game, and The Grand Budapest Hotel. I personally did think that The Imitation Game and Foxcatcher or not really strong picks for this. Versus those three, you can really see the director's touches and how the director influenced the film. I didn't see as much of that in The Imitation Game or in Foxcatcher, and actually, personally, I would have hoped that Selma and Interstellar were nominated instead. Having said that, though, I definitely would say I would give the award to Inuritu, who directed Birdman. It's like his movie was incredible. And it was a technical masterpiece, doing one shot the whole time, the whole movie had to be planned. I do think though that it might go to Link later for Boyhood, just because it's a pretty ballsy move to film over 12 years. Next category, Best Actor. And the nominees were Steve Carell for Foxcatcher, Bradley Cooper for American Sniper, Benedict Cumberbatch for The Imitation Game, Michael Keaton for Birdman, and Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything. I do think that David Oyelowo was snubbed for this category in his portrayal of Martin Luther King in Selma. I really thought that that was an incredible performance that deserved to be nominated. And I did think that Steve Carell's performance in Foxcatcher, although it was good, did not think that it was a best actor performance, but more of a best supporting actor performance. I would have moved him to supporting. It was between Michael Keaton for Birdman and Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything. I personally would give it to Eddie Redmayne. I think that his performance was the movie. That's why it's nominated for Best Picture. I think Birdman also, Michael Keaton's performance, incredible class act performance. And I bet he is going to be the one who wins. But I personally would choose Eddie Redmayne. Next, Best Actress. And the nominees were Reese Witherspoon for Wild, Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl, Marion Cotillard for Two Days, One Night, Julianne Moore for Still Alice, and Felicity Jones for The Theory of Everything. Unfortunately, I have not seen a lot of these movies. I only saw The Theory of Everything and Gone Girl. And I hear that performance that Julianne Moore does is gonna be the Oscar winning performance just because she also has never won before and she's been nominated so many times. Since I haven't seen that, I can't really choose her. So I would go with Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl. She was incredible. Best Supporting Actor is the next category. My gosh, all of these were really strong. Robert Duvall for The Judge, Mark Ruffalo for Foxcatcher, J.K. Simmons for Whiplash, Ethan Hawke for Boyhood, and Edward Norton for Birdman. It's obviously gonna go to J.K. Simmons for Whiplash. His performance was incredible. I don't know why he's in the supporting category for this other than for technicalities again. The next category is Best Supporting Actress, and the nominees were Keira Knightley for The Imitation Game, Laura Dern for Wild, Emma Stone for Birdman, Patricia Arquette for Boyhood, and Meryl Streep for Into the Woods. I know that Patricia Arquette this is hers to lose. She has won every single award leading up to this. She's gonna win. Next category, Best Original Screenplay. The nominees were for Boyhood, Birdman, Grand Budapest Hotel, Foxcatcher, and Nightcrawler. I don't know how Foxcatcher was in Best Original Screenplay versus Best Adapted Screenplay. Isn't it an adapted one? I'm a little bit torn. I personally would choose Birdman. I felt like Boyhood, I don't really know, was there really a screenplay? I feel like he had like a main goal, but he didn't really flesh it all out. He just kind of like went along with the story with, as what Linklater does with his other film. Next is Best Adapted Screenplay. The nominees were The Imitation Game, Whiplash, Inherent Vice, The Theory of Everything, and American Sniper. I believe it's gonna go to The Imitation Game because it was a really good movie and it deserves to win at least one award. Film editing is the next award. This is the editor decides to show which shot at which time. And the nominees were Boyhood, Whiplash, 
The Imitation Game, Grand Budapest Hotel, and American Sniper. My favorite pick, that is Whiplash. The way that it was edited, it was very masterful. It was new, it was different. It really added to the storytelling and the tension in the drumming scenes. I did like Grand Budapest Hotels, however I do think that it was more storyboarding than actual film editing. But having said that though, apparently everyone says that Boyhood is gonna win. Which I didn't think Boyhood's film editing really was anything new or fresh or a great achievement in anything. Next, Best Cinematography. That is where the camera is positioned. And the nominees were Birdman, Ida, Mr. Turner, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and Unbroken. I don't know about Unbroken because I haven't seen it, and I know Ido had incredible cinematography. I did think that Selma, again, was snubbed for this category. The cinematography in it was incredible. I did really enjoy Grand Budapest Hotel, but I'd have to say that it will probably go to Birdman, just because the way that the, the shots were all done in a continuous tape which is very interesting and very different. Next, production design. That is like the design of the sets. And so the nominees were Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Into the Woods, Interstellar, and Mr. Turner. I think this is Grand Budapest Hotel's category to lose. Best Animated Features, the next one. I have a really big problem with this category because it's actually grading the movie versus grading the art style. And I said that the nominees are Big Hero 6, how to Train Your Dragon 2, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, Song of the Sea, and The Box Trolls. My personal favorite is How to Train Your Dragon 2. I hear that it might go to Big Hero 6 instead. The next category is Best Visual Effects, and the nominees were X-Men Days of Future Past, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Interstellar, and Guardians of the Galaxy. 100% go to Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That will definitely win. And Captain America has no chance of winning either, for that matter. So those are my predictions for the Oscars. We'll see how well I do. And I'm happy to say that I actually saw pretty much all of them in theaters. It helps that I live near a movie theater. So thanks for watching. What do you guys think? Put in the comments below what you think will win Best Picture and what your favorite movies of the year were. Gatsby's so noisy. Dude, come on. So I thought that I would show you guys some of you guys were asking, what do these amiibos really do in the games? And please show me. So I thought that I would show you really quickly. Let's turn on my game. And let's play some Super Smash Brothers there. I still have Rosalina in the box, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take her out really soon. These amiibos do different things in different games. They work with the 3DS, the new 3DS, and they also work on the Wii U over here with this. In Smash Brothers, what they do is you can't play as them, but they act as a character to play against. And what they do is, when you scan them in, for example, let's scan them, let's scan in. And I mean, I always play as Wii Fit Trainer over here. What you can do is you can just scan in an amiibo, like this. Donkey Kong, see? His name is Boris over here. He is like your custom amiibo, and what you can do is you can battle against them. And what the special thing about it is it does include a little bit of artificial intelligence in the sense that it learns your play style. So if you do a certain thing over and over and over again, it will learn your play style and then it will play it better than you, pretty much. So the good thing is that you can either teach it all your moves, you can play on their team, or it is kind of like playing against a human character. So more than a computer. So this one is up to, they go up to level 50 over here. So Donkey Kong's level 50 over there, Boris. And another thing is that it will learn from all the other people that you play against. So it, it will actually become better and better. So better than you and then better than all your friends all at the same time. Scan in Peach. <laughs> I named her Solange. And then I'll do Sheik over here. Sheik. I named him Bruce. Try to figure out why I named him Bruce. Anyway, so now let's play. I like to play, I'm playing as Weepit Trainer because I like to play as characters that nobody plays as. What? I'm already gone. Who's gonna win? Boris, Solange, or Bruce? Oh, looks like Donkey Kong's gonna win. Use it! Ready, 
Use the items, you guys. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Boris wins. Watch, it's gonna say Boris on it. Boris, there. <laughs> so that's how we play as him. Go potty for the last time. It's all dark outside. There he goes. Gatsby happily goes inside of the car. You don't know what's gonna happen to you. Yeah, it was getting to the point where I could tell the dog that Matt was male or female and if the dog was a spade or not. <laughs> Based off of how yeah. 